since we were doing a Halloween thing, I thought we should definitely do a zombie. And that was one of the first ones I wanted to do. Especially since zombies seem to be popular at the moment, but I've always liked them. With a chromographic pencil, I sketched out you know, the basic anatomy, you know, where the where the dark parts were going to be and filled in, you know, the, the skull-like part of the nose and the, under the cheekbones and stuff. And with the paint sticks, I accentuated that some. After I sketched it out with the uh, with the eyebrow pencil, I put on the uh, Munster effects, fluid all over, just to give it a broken up kind of color. It's kind of a cool thing, and I, I'm uh, I'm excited about this because you can really do a lot of things with it. You can spray it on with a brush, or flick it on with your fingers, or put it on a tissue and just kind of blob it on. Then started painting on the white acrylic, which is a product I really like for really, really being able to do bold paint jobs. This stipple brush here, which is a number 188. I like this, this is like my new favorite brush. I think it's a really cool stage when it's just the dots on there. And it's all about just building up different layers of different colors on him. You know, one of the things I really wanted to show is how you can get a very dimensional look with, with just paint. Same thing people do in beauty makeup, you know, you contour the face, you know, and um, I, I just do it a lot more extremely, you know. Doesn't mean this is the way you absolutely have to do a zombie, you know, and uh, just hoping that, you know, makes people want to do paint makeups and play with it. And you can use in many more colors. You know, Mac makes all kinds of colors and you could lick all kinds of stuff on them. And <laughs> well, a lot of times I'll look in the mirror too to get a different perspective, but today there was always like a camera in the way. <laughs> 